The overall goal of this procedure is to infect C. elegans with Salmonella to examine host pathogen interactions. This is accomplished by first inhibiting the expression of a host gene by RNAi. The second step of the procedure is to infect RNAi-treated worms with Salmonella. The infection is stopped by transferring the infected worms to non-pathogenic RNAi feeding plates. The final steps are to record the survival of the infected worms, calculate survivorship from this data, and ultimately identify genes essential for protection against Salmonella. Demonstrating the procedure will be Jiu Li Zhang, a technician from my laboratory. Begin by preparing the required culturing plates. First, make XLD agar plates. They are selective for Salmonella, which appear as black colonies on these plates. Be sure to resuspend XLD agar in water at 1 gram per milliliter before mixing it into the full volume of water. Do not autoclave this agar, just heat it with a hot plate. Proceed with making 95 mm diameter XLD plates, adding 25 milliliters of agar per plate. To prepare the NGM feeding plates with RNAi, to make what are called RNAi plates, use standard methods. Briefly, add ampicillin and the RNAi chemical inducer IPTG to the media after it has been autoclaved. Once cooled, load 60 mm plates with 12 milliliters of agar. The plates are good for up to a month, stored at 4 degrees Celsius. Prior to their use, they are first incubated with bacteria, 